At an historic church in St. Catharines, organizers of a weekend of events are focused on its role in the Underground Railroad, a destination and refuge for escaped slaves coming to Canada. The church is a tribute to the courageous African-American freedom seekers who arrived by way of the Underground Railroad. Among the people fighting slavery from this church in the 1900s was Harriet Tubman, an American hero who escaped slavery and reached Canada, but went back again and again to lead other slaves to freedom. American slaves could come to Canada and places like this church because slavery was abolished in the British Empire in 1834 on August 1st. With their flag raised over St. Catherine City Hall for a weekend of events marking the occasion, organizers are hoping people will join them tomorrow in the big event, a picnic in Port de Luzi, recreating picnics of the past and marking Canada's declaration of August 1st as Emancipation Day. For us, it's a real celebration of that um, bravery and that persistence and that determination to be seen as people and not property. Part of the impetus behind these events this weekend is the rise of white supremacy in Canada and the U.S. and the murder of George Floyd. It hurt as if he was a close friend or something. It impacted, like, everybody. While tomorrow marks Emancipation Day throughout the British Empire in 1834, Ontario was a leader in the fight against slavery long before that. Along with Emancipation Day, tomorrow is also a civic holiday in Ontario in honour of Lieutenant Governor John Graves Simcoe. As Governor of Ontario, then called Upper Canada, he brought in the first law against slavery in the British Empire in 1793, helping lead to this church's role in the fight for freedom. This could still be a beacon of hope and promise for, for everybody. Organizers here say they need more people like the abolitionists of the past to support the fight for equality. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.